Warning, this video contains clips and excerpts of a humorous nature not normally found in math class. These are intended to fight the adolescent condition known as short attention span, found heavily in the modern teen, especially when in school. The only thing you should attempt at home is the math. The rest, you just laugh at. Welcome to AT Math. Today, 3-6, solving compound inequalities. Why, it's more safe than using most nunchucks. And we're back. Now, what we're doing is we're simply combining two inequalities into one. Now, if you remember doing inequalities from before, we're now simply going to put two on one number line. Let me explain. If the two inequalities go in different directions, we're going to use the word or, because this or that. Yeah. However, if they merge together, if they go towards each other, use the word and. So you'll see here in a second. So let's start with the word or. All real numbers less than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 6. So let's cut up the sentence. The first part says all real numbers less than 2 or greater. So we have x here and we have less than 2. So right there. So all real numbers less than 2. So we can just slide that back a little bit. It's not really that important, but okay. And then the other part or greater than or equal to 6. So x is here and it's greater than or equal to 6. Now let's put them on a number line. So you have here x is less than 2. Well, the value here should be 2. And we'll put a 2 right here for them. And so here's 2. Now it's less than, so it doesn't include it, but anything less than me is fine. Well, now we'll put 6 here for the action. And it's saying, okay, 6 is okay. I'm equal to 6 or greater than. Notice that since they are since they're going different directions, the word or links them together. So even though we're going this way and this way, it's still two different directions, but because we can go this way or this way, that's why I use the word or, because it's two separate things, but it's one sentence. Now you try. So try to graph x is less than negative 2 or x is greater or equal to 16. Go ahead at this time pause. Okay, hopefully you tried it. Let's take a look at how you did. We have here, we have negative 2 over here less than going this way. And 16 is greater or equal to, so it's dark circle and going this way. So this is how you'd graph it. Now let's do and. All real numbers less than or equal to 9 and greater than or equal to 1. So first let's cut up this sentence. All real numbers less than or equal to 9. So Here's x is less or equal to 9 and greater than or equal to 1. So x is greater or equal to 1. Why? Because they're going to merge together. So take a look. Let's put them on a number line and you'll see that x is greater or equal to 1, dark circle going this way. x is less or equal to 9, dark circle going that way. See how they overlap. Now they wouldn't actually look overlap, they actually look like a straight line, but for your purposes I went ahead and made this so you could see how they overlapped. Notice that since they are going direct towards each other, they overlap, and we use the word and. So this and this, because they connect, not or. Now you try. All real numbers less than or equal to 20 and greater than or equal to negative 8. Go ahead and give a try at this time. All right, hopefully you had a chance to take a look. Let's go ahead and drop it down and see what you got. Let's put them on a number line. So here we have x is greater or equal to negative 8, so negative 8 going one way, and x is less or equal to 20 going the other, and they connect. Now it's time for a short break. And we're back. All right. Time for da da da, -da word problem. A little league allows kids from ages 8 to 12. Write an equation showing this. So I'm going to show you the easy way. I think of it like goal posts. All right, so 8's on one post and 12's on the other. So okay, minimum, maximum. So put an 8 and 12 down below. Since it allows kids from these ages, so this and that, we're going to go ahead and make a connecting line. So put a dark circle over 8, dark circle over 12, and connect them. You can be from 8 to 12 and connect. So you have here x is greater or equal to 8, x is less or equal to 12. 
Now we're going to do the same thing but with an equation. So I'm going to start with 8 and 12 because these are the borders. I'm going to put an x in the middle. And when you have a connecting line, there are going to be two less thans and equal to. Well, mostly just less than because it's inside, but if they're dark circles, it's going to be equals to as well. So anytime you see a connecting, think to less than, and the x goes in between. And basically, to go with that, because x is greater or equal to 8, 8 is less or equal to x. So I simply flip those upside down there, as you can see. And x is less or equal to 12. See how there's an x here and an x here, and it's just in between these two guys. But if I brought them together, see how it'd fit just like that? Yeah. So I just went ahead and put the 8, 12 goal post, less than, less than, x in the middle. <laughs> now you try. Disney World offers children tickets from kids age 2 to 12. I could be wrong. I just used it as an example. Write an equation showing this. So go ahead on your own and go ahead and make an equation that shows that. Hopefully you had a chance to try. Let's see what you got. 2 is over here, 12 is over here, x in the middle, and equals. So 2 is less or equal to x, which is less or equal to 12. Moving on. Now the reverse. A school trip can either have at most 50 for one bus student, for one bus, or needs at least 70 for two, much like the DC trip. So we need the following. We have x is less or equal to 50, or 70 is greater or equal to 70. x is greater or equal to 70, excuse me. So here we have ones that go out, because here we have 50 or less, or 70 or more. Notice the gap formed. See the gap here. So we're just going to put 50 on one side, 70 on the other. Now we can have 50, or we can have 70, or less or greater than. So look how it's gapped. And now what I did was I said, well, x is less than or equal to 50, so basically 50 is greater than x, or 50 is greater or equal to x. And if x is greater or equal to 70, notice how I have an x in the middle, how they could just merge together. Notice how they form two greater than signs. So 50, 70, greater than sign, because they're going outside. So less than when they connect, greater than when they split apart. Now you try. A field artillery piece is trying to protect a forward observation team. So here's your scouts up here. Here's your artillery trying to lay down protection. So basically if some enemies are in the way, or if enemies are real far away, so you have that. Well, to make sure that our firing team's okay, we can shoot the firing team's 200 to 300 meters. So we can shoot less than that or shoot more. If you shoot between 200 and 300 meters, well, that's not going to be good for your firing team, so we don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and make 200 and 300 the goal posts, and anything on the outside's okay. Inside's a no-no. So we'll go ahead and put the goal posts at 200 and 300, and because we're going on the outside, you want greater than sign. All right. And equal to in that case, I suppose. So now if we have this, and you can follow along on page 203, 4 is less or equal to x plus, or plus 3, less or equal to 8. All we have to do to get rid of the plus 3 is we're going to go ahead and do the opposite, like always, which is minus 3. But because there's two different parts, because there's two different signs, if we minus 3 in the middle, we got a minus 3 for both on the outside as well. This really isn't as hard as it seems. I'm just going to minus 3 here, and I'm going to minus 3 on this side and on this side. So it would be like if there was three people, and if you gave one person a free ticket to a concert, I hope that you have two more tickets to give away to two of their friends who are standing there. Otherwise, it's not fair. So in this case here, if I minus 3 from one side, I got a minus 3 to both of the others. So I minus 3 here, minus 3 here, minus 3 here. 4 minus 3 is 1. This cancels. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 is now less or equal to x, which is less or equal to 5. So there you have that. Then it's time to graph it's the same thing. Goal posts, 1 and 5, and you have the less than or equal to. So take a look at this. You see you have 1 and 5 because it's including them, touching, and, so you have less than. Or wait. Yeah, you guys would be look like less than. Very good. You see the cameras flip for me. So when I make less than sign, I have to go like this so it looks like less than to you, but it looks like greater than to me. It's a flip effect. It's okay.
You try. 7 is less or equal to x plus 13, which is less or equal to 18. Find for me just x. Remember, I'm trying to get rid of plus 13. So you have to minus 13. Go ahead and try it this time. Let's see what you got. A minus 13 here, here, and here. Now it's negative 6, but that's okay. This is 5, so negative 6 is less or equal to x, which is less or equal to 5. Again, because for you it's less than or equal to, it's and goalposts. So you have negative 6, you have 5, and they link. Now it's time for yet another commercial. And we're back. Now if we have this here, 9 is less or equal to 3x plus 3, which is less or equal to 15. Step 1, see that plus 3, get rid of that plus 3. So minus 3 here, minus 3 on these two guys. We're going to have 9 minus 3 is 6, 15 minus 3 is 12, and these go away. And now the same procedure. Instead of times 3, we're going to divide by 3. But if we divide 3 over here, we've got to divide 3 over here. So I divide all 3 by 3. So OK. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1, or just x, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 2 less or equal to x, less or equal to 4. So 2 and 4, they are touching, so they connect, because to you it's less than or equal to. Go ahead and do a U try. Negative 5 or less or equal to 2x plus 3, which is less than 9. So go ahead and give that a try, please. All right, let's see what you have. I hope you minus 3 from both sides first. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Remember, negative, three, negative 5 minus 3 more is negative 8. So I have negative 8. This cancels. This makes 6. Then I divide all sides by 2. Negative 4, less or equal to 1. X, or just X, which is less or equal to 3. Know that I don't have to switch any signs, because this wasn't a negative in the middle. This was a positive, so I didn't have to change a single sign. What would happen if this was a negative? You would have to switch all the signs. These would all flip. But we didn't have to. So in this case, again, negative 4, positive 3, goal posts going towards each other. So it's and, and you went ahead and put less than or equal to. Now, let's say you have negative 4 plus a is greater than 1, or negative 5 plus a is less than negative 4. So we're going ahead and have them go outwards. But we have to solve for each one. But they're not really that complicated. We're going to solve for a. Well, OK. Instead of minus 4, we're going to add 4. Now, if we add 4 to one side, we add 4 to the other. Understand that this is simply its own thing. We're not doing this. When we sl swap equations, it's ju uh, swap numbers, it's just for this equation. This is its own thing, and we don't have to worry a thing about it. Just do one, then the other. So add 4 here, add 4 here. 8 is greater than 5. Hold that information. Work the other side. Instead of minus 5, add 5. Add 5 to one side, add 5 to the other. We go ahead and get negative 4 plus 5, which is 1. So a is less than 1. Now we connect them together. Since a is greater than 5 and a is less than 1, I'm putting a here. And if a is less than 1, that means 1 is greater than a. And if a is greater than 5, then I'll just put a is greater than 5. So I have goalposts 1 and 5. And because they're going outwards, it's going to be greater than sign. So the book keeps it like this, so the book goes ahead and puts it like this. Honestly, I like this, though, or I'll take this. Either one I'll accept, but either way, 1, 5, no equal, so they're open and going outwards. You try. Go ahead, please. All right, 2x is less than 6, or 3x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Excuse me, 2x is less or equal to 6, or 3x is greater or equal to 12. Hope you had time while I was trying to correct my grammar. Let's see what you got. I went ahead and divided by 2 here, so I have x is less or equal to 3. Divided by 3 here, x is greater or equal to 4. I didn't make any goalposts, but they're pretty simple to do. I'll go ahead and do this, put this. And I'd say, OK, well, this here is going to be 3. This is going to be 4. X is less or equal to 3, so dark circle going this away. Greater than 4, dark circle going that away. And there you have that. And now it is time for another quick commercial break. <laughs> and we're back. So finally, we have to take a graph and put it back into an equation. So here we have 
the goal posts already at negative 2 and positive 3. Well, since they're connected, we're going to use the word and. Okay. Let's just go ahead and put it down here. This, if I had it all by itself, would be x is greater or equal to negative 2. Why? Because it connects to negative 2 and it's getting greater than. The other side, this goal post here, it's obviously at 3, but it's going less than, so x is less or equal to 3. So I'm simply going to stick it together. The compound inequality is x is greater or equal to two, negative 2, and x is less or equal to 3. And you could go ahead and put it together if you wanted. I'm not going to force you to. But you could simply say, OK, goal post negative 2, positive 3. Since x is connected, obviously, see how it's connected together, we have 2 less than or equal to signs. I'll take this or this. Either one just makes me all warm and cozy inside. So you decide which. Go ahead and you try. Put the graph back into an equation. Go ahead. Let's see which form you chose. I went ahead and put said to simply put that uh, x is greater or equal to 12 and x is less or equal to 39. So I'll certainly take this or for convenience sake you might just say well goal post 12, goal post 39 because they're connected x is in the middle and two lesser equal twos. Y equals because you have equals here. And finally, we have goal posts again, but they're going outside. So you notice the word or. Negative 12 and 3 are on the outsides. Now they just went ahead and put x is less than negative 12. That's fine. Or x is greater than 3. I'll certainly take that. But again, you know, this may not be a math purist thing, but I don't mind connecting them. I can go ahead and put them greater than signs because they're going the opposite way. Final you try. Promise. Go ahead and try it this time, 45 and 47. Go ahead and see what you got. They went ahead and put x is less than 45 or x is greater than 47. Quite true. I say they put. I'm the one who wrote this. I guess I put. But I might put this instead. Greater than, greater than. Either way, easy peasy, we're good. Thank you again for watching. Here's a little something to say goodbye, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.